A sellout crowd of over 70,000 jam-packed into the Cotton Bowl. Two schools whose programs are on the rise collide for the first time. We welcome you to Dallas for the 68th annual SBC Cotton Bowl, where 21st-ranked Oklahoma State takes on number 16, the Ole Miss Rebels. Cole Farden set to kick it off and back deep for Ole Miss. Chris Collins and Brian Brown. Pretty gutsy if you ask me when you have the 77th ranked defense in the NCAA yeah. to send them out there. And the 68th SBC Cotton Bowl underway. Oh. And that one booted a mile. His brother Cooper was a wide receiver at Ole Miss and you know all about Peyton Manning. Get away from the play fake Manning to throw across the middle and dropped by Mike Espy. The generally sure-handed. Let's take a look at Ole Miss offensively. Doug Buckles, the first team All-SEC performer during the season. Tremaine Turner, one of three running backs that you'd see a great deal of playing time today. And Chris Collins has been their go-to guy for the last four years. Dropped at the line of scrimmage. Greg Richmond, 12 and a half sacks during the season. Bajit McGee, along with Paul Duran, the leading tackler for the Cowboys. And in the secondary, Darren Williams, the first team all Big 12 performer. OSU is showing the blitz. They want to blitz and get pressure on Eli Manning. And then Eli Manning's checking out of it, Tom. With protection, wide open, and one drop to Espy. That ball thrown a bit behind him, so he ran one back 55 yards for a touchdown against Wyoming. And he'll have a chance to return this one from the 33. Got a block. Turns a corner. And he's now to the 47. Great field position. Baseball prospect and is eligible for the June amateur draft. Fire out to Woods. A little bit of room and a pickup of eight. Rashawn Woods and Sam Mays. Big 6'3", 350 out of Austin Town, Ohio. Leads him up front. And in the backfield, Tatum Bell, a fabulous runner. Sean Willis, his lead blocker. And Rashawn Woods, we will call his name a great deal. This is Tatum Bell, and he has picked up the first down. Anderson, five sacks, one of three seniors along the defensive front line, including Jesse Mitchell. Timmy talked about him earlier. In a 4-2-5, Spence and Wade, the linebackers, and in the secondary, Kelvin Robinson, the strong safety. Travis Johnson had that interception return for a touchdown against LSU on the very first play of the game. At the 44. That time it was Travis Johnson outside, and the rush got there. Ooh, Bell will pick up about half of that. They ask to blitz and play like a linebacker. Here he is, right, right there. Third and seven. Open it up. Fields in trouble and down again. Anderson, Mitchell, and company. Side linebacker slash extra safety. SB will let it drop, and it's into the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 20th. Coming out to about the 24-yard line, Tremaine Turner. <laughs> you can have all the attempts you want. Yeah, you know, one thing he said is that Archie had, though, was better feet. He was a better running quarterback. Again, Turner and wrapped up immediately. Nice break. Nice break on the ball. Back-to-back -back series, three and out for this high-octane Ole Miss offense. And now off the side of the foot. And out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Fields to throw a first down, and was it caught? Waiting on a ruling, no. 
right up here and pressing Rashawn Woods. Ball. Batted down at the line of scrimmage. Third and ten. He's playing way off him though here again. Get off. Field slows to the far side and over there to get it. Rashawn's little brother, Dewan Woods. Rashawn had 66 receptions oh. during the season. Dewan had 27. This time they go back to Big Brother. And the flag face comes in late, a face mask indeed. This is a smart move by Mike Gundy in the offense. And they gotta like that, those matchups. Look at that off on They top. gotta like those matchups. The fade. Go up top to Woods and try to come Look, in. The flag don't come out. No flag. And Blanchard again off about 15 yards. Tatum Bell who just missed slipping through that crack tackle. Being a three, third and seven. Showing the blitz. Oh. oh, I've never been to a game that's hyped up offense versus <laughs> offense that it just didn't tick the defense off, and they were the ones that took over the game. Two of the best field goal kickers in all of college football on display here today. And as if on cue, a miss by the field goal kicker, Luke Phillips. Bill Moss, I know you're thinking of your own cotton ball here years ago. David Cutcliffe in his fifth year at Old Miss looking for his 40th win. Cutcliffe served for 17 years as an assistant at Tennessee. And a strike to Chris Collins. Collins, another guy who's had an outstanding career. And he's going to get the football again. Oh. And a miss block and an open oh. field tackle after the miss block by William. In motion on a second and three. Really a fumble snap. And a real carry for the junior Rick Rosado, and he's got enough for a first down. Down on the island, dude. <laughs> of course, you know everybody in Ole screaming about what about the football in Texas and Oklahoma. First down, and maybe a gain of two. <laughs> that, that's still pretty good. Yeah, it tells you there's Paul's football good. down there. Nearly intercepted by Williams on a dangerous throw to Bill Flowers. There you see Eli Manning, this is what he does. He knows the offense so well, he adjusts it to the defense. Nyle Collins. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And he breaks a tackle to the 20, to the 17. We talk so much about Woods, this kid Collins. Ole Miss on the move, a fake to Turner. And Turner's oh. wide open. Touchdown. Oh. That was a Deuce McAllister type adjustment to the football. Neither offensive line coach and coordinator. Jonathan Nichols, the winner of the Lou Groza Award as the nation's best field goal kicker. Makes it 7-0. Ole Miss. Eli Manning, who was 0 for 3 on his first three passes, went 5 for 5 on that drive. He found Collins three times. And then Turner made a great adjustment to pull down the touchdown pass. Robert Jones brings it out to the 30-yard line. So he... Almost 10 years of this after following Peyton in Tennessee. We love college football, and we're just so blessed to have children um, that have played now for you know, two of them at two different places. So I, and all these college quarterbacks out here, they, they got to think. I, you know, I just ran around and threw it to somebody. It was a lot easier back then. How about if you go back and enjoy the rest of the game, Archie? Thanks for joining us. Okay, you bet. Tom, back up to you. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you, Archie. Our team has become... Dead ball. Personal foul. What? Offense. The play resulted in the first down following the 15-yard penalty. Moving along the line. Flag will come in. Sides. Defense. Five-yard penalty. First and five. Here's your front four, and then five six. This is the weak side backer that's come up to be seven. Oh, He's God. out of there. Throw it up top for Woods, and he caught. Wow. Oh, oh. oh my. That's what he excels at. That, that's their only vice, and that's not a vice. <laughs> Bump Bump. And look at the end zone. And just under throw, and again he had Where? a with hey. hey. Woods and no flag. Hey. Second and Keep it up. Again, fields the throw, and again, Ooh. looking for Woods, and if Johnson gets his hands around that one. He had that one down. Field to 
Batchum at a tight end. He took a lick. Forty-three yard attempt. Good snap, and they fake it. And they're going to get the first down. Punt fake last night that led to the Miami Hurricanes win over Florida State in the Orange Bowl last night. They give it to Lawrence, try to turn the corner, and run out of bounds at the 11. It's not all about catching it. Rooks just showed that he's he's all for it right there. Did you tell anybody up in Minnesota that? Lawrence again. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, Rooks got another block. It takes everybody out there, as you saw from Rashawn Woods. Trying to get in and done. What effort. Now we got a shootout brewing. Heart and gutsy. Yeah, okay. 7-7 seven, seven game. You just want to argue with me, don't you? You made a career out of it. <laughs> and there and take on the run. Ideally, though, they, they can not only run, but they got away in at about 225. That one way out of the end zone. And then they get it at their own 31 and march down the field to tie the game. First carry of the day for Deshaun Pearson, the sophomore. He ran it the whole time at Tennessee. Cutcliffe. And now he runs the same offense here with the same last name and a great quarterback. And dropped off. Close to a first down. And getting the first down, the ball came loose, but did the ground cause the fumble? And they are both elated to be playing in this game. Manning walks it up. Oh. Intercepted. John Holland brings it back to the 35. Outstanding defensive scheme and an outstanding defensive play by the Oklahoma State Cowboys. That was Manning's second interception in the last 103 attempts. Holland getting his third interception of the season. They pitch it to Tatum Bell. Right there for Lawrence, and he went head on. Bunch group up top. Play fake to Bell. And then they set up a screen. And enough for a first down to Gabe Lindsay. And able to slip through his Tatum Bell. You know, Slip out of the tackle. Got hey, press up top. Hey. Third and seven. Little got it. Him. Did he get it? He got an inter interference. Finally is what he got. I don't know. That may be an offensive pass interference. Pass interference, defense. The penalties decline. The play results. First so, down. I'll tell you, either way, this is the guy you want to go to. It's a third down situation. Well, contact. Yeah, I thought he did push off. I thought Woods pushed off. I'll just be quiet. Play fake to Bell. Fields rolling right. And just throws it away. All the way down to the four-yard line goes Tatum Bell. Well, the run, defending the run has been a... Struggle for oh, Mississippi all week. One on one out here. They're all stacked in the middle. Touchdown. And it doesn't matter. Right behind the fullback, Sean Willis goes Tatum Bell, and it didn't matter how many men they had in the box. Good enough for a fourth post in the big 12, and the point after is good by Phillips. So after falling behind 7-0, OSU indeed has it rolling. And they've opened a seven-point lead with 11.30 to play in the first half. Coverage of the NFC wildcard playoffs begins Sunday noon Eastern, 9 Pacific, only on Fox. How do you guys... First down, play fake, man, oh, yeah. the air. And what a catch reaching behind him. The rarely used Lawrence Lilly. A 21 yard gain. A red shirt freshman is Lilly. And they hand it off to Pearson. And he gets baby two. Short drop. And a strike and what a hit by Williams. You're talking about a guy who's playing for the first time since he had to leave the Oklahoma game with an injury. First team all big 12 performer Williams. 
Manning. Wide open. To Bill Flowers. First down to the 37 yard line. Manning was hit on 9 of 13 Ooh. for 118 yards. A touchdown and an interception. And they'll give it off again to Deshaun Pearson. The running back by committee that Ole Miss likes to use. He knows Whoa. the formula. And, and he's, he's done it. I mean, he has brought Ole Miss back to national prominence. Brandon Pearson slipped the tackle, and he has a first down to the 25-yard line. Oh, and I think Les Miles on the other side of the field has done a great job, too. They, both coaches today have done the same thing. Manning to the end zone. And this time, SB hangs on. Throw by Eli Manning. Jonathan Nichols, a point after. Lane the six consecutively he's hit on, and Manning his second touchdown pass of the game. The shootout is on in Dallas. It explains how come the receiver was wide open in the end zone. It looked like a breakdown in coverage. So now the Cowboys turn, and a well, wow, what a throw that was by Fields to LaShawn Woods. Billy, I knew where you were going. <laughs> Tom is. And out to the 43-yard line goes Morrency. The Some guy tried Jenny Craig. He is all about Sarah Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, and he can move, too. That's the thing. Well, now there is a for Morrency out the whole side of that line. Did you see the whole side of that line? I'm looking for years it's to come. Only six men on the line of scrimmage. Five-yard penalty. Repeat second down. The defense to be in, and then try to take advantage of it. Swing it out to Morrison. Step the tackler, and he is dragged out of the 49-yard line. There's clothes out there on the field. <laughs> I, I, I see it. I see it. In the minor leagues, trying to reach the major league. Balls. Fields fires and overthrows. Looking... Fields 10 of 18 for 117 yards. Fake one way, come back to Bell the other way, and Ole Miss read it beautifully. <laughs> they nailed that. Here we go. Right, 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 right up the middle, and Lawrence is tripped up down to the 30-yard line. Oh, look at the rush. We're, we're going to bring it. They bring it. And down he goes. There he is. Just one day a yeah. year, but we actually have a, a Hall of Fame, an art contest, a Phil Scoville Foundation. We have just a lot of things that we do that that, that that all go into this. A lot of activities. Listen, we watched USC beat Michigan last night. A 20-yard gain by Tremaine Turner, and Ole Miss back in business. Well, hand it off to Turner again. Well, he took a lick down at the 37-yard line. Second down throw for Manning, and he got wide right open over the middle. The big tight end, Lawrence Lilly, his second catch today. And they've got him up there across from Chris Collins, Mississippi's number one receiver. To the 22. And they may want to go to it. They may want to try to take advantage of the injury. Turn over the big hole. To the 14, first down, Ole Miss. Again, and maybe and again. two yards. And now he helps his younger brother breaking down film and helping him with his offensive game. Plan. Collins. And his knee touched the ground, and he is down. That is a rule in college football. See, you see the linebacker move up in here, now Peyton Manning. And now I'm sorry, Eli Manning. He and calls it out. Short drop. Intended for Collins and defended beautifully by Robert Jones. There's a slant. This guy's not too bad, huh? Not bad at all. Mentioned earlier, the Lou Groza Award winner for the nation's top field goal kicker. And Nichols is good on this try. Put on 25 of 29 on the year. That one from 33 yards. And Ole Miss has recaptured the lead by three. The Cowboys. Warren C. and Jones. And this will be Jones. For the 25. 
Is that beautiful? Yeah. Right there. Right. Oklahoma <laughs> State <laughs> and Mississippi the other. Beautiful. Well, as we expected, a lot of offense in the opening half. And Ole Miss led by Eli Manning in his final game for the Rebels, a 17-14 lead. Look, it has already been a breakout year for Ole Miss. Oklahoma State will have something to say about that back after a break from your local station. It all depends on, on what Mississippi chooses to play at the line of scrimmage. They go the other way. Oklahoma State will get it to begin the second half, and they'll get it at the 20-yard line. It's the first time that Oklahoma State is making back-to-back -back bowl appearances since 87-88. It's only the fourth time that has happened in Cowboys football history. And a handoff to Sean Willis on a first-down carry. I couldn't find it. That's a hard deck last one. I know that feeling. Swung out to the left side, and enough for a first down and then some to Rashad's younger brother, Dewan Woods. They pitch it to Tatum Bell, and he's up to the 40-yard line. You better take a good angle downfield. Look at that formation right there. There it is, and he breaks one tackle, brings it out to the 42. Well, Third and three to the line of scrimmage. Smash there, use it. Oh, Clark puts a foot on it. And taken by Espy with lots of room in front of him. Out across the 35, got a big time block. Boy, and I mean a big time block. Everything associated with the game is first class. From the hospitality of the Cotton Bowl Committee, Ball's to you and everybody at Fox for your production of this, this great event. The fact that we've got the two best conferences in the SEC and the Big 12. It sure is, Billy. And, and really, this is just the beginning of a, of a great year for you here at SBC. Well, we're looking forward to 2004. You know, we've been providing communication services here in the heartland. and now You do. Better than the other three letters if you change it. <laughs> That's for sure. Manning in trouble and dumps it off complete. it all the way down to the 25 and then tries to pitch it to his teammate and a scramble for the ball who got it get out poor decision there made by tremaine turner after a huge game and we'll see who's underneath that pile with the football we have talked Holland. about the brilliant decisions just absolutely missed it turner getting it a great deal on this drive. He's caught a couple of passes. Now back-to-back -back runs. Picks up close to eight there. And he Those guys move up and down. They shift in motion, in and out. Runner in motion this time. And he it to his auto. Rare carry for him. And he's down to the 13-yard line. You got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. First down, Turner to the nine-yard line. Baldy, thank you very much. And again, Manning checking off at the line of scrimmage. Plenty of time on the play clock. And he'll hand it off and slip into the outside. And down to the three-yard line is Turner. He rushed for nearly 800 yards this season. Audible again by Manning. Six. Wow. Not one you can part the Red Sea like that. Wow. I mean, they went with a single coverage on Chris Collins at the top. They, Oklahoma State stacked everyone up there to stop the run. Otto and Turner carried the load on that drive, the first in the second half by Ole Miss. Tom, when you come out and you set the tone like that and you put it on your offensive line and they march down the field and score, look out. After that, they put in the rule that if something like that would have happened, it was an automatic touchdown. First down throw to Dewan Woods, and good enough for a first down. Fields play fake, in trouble. Throws on the run, and nearly intercepted. I'll tell you what, if they're going to get that passing game going, Tim, they better find a way to slow down. Well, there was a long, long convoy of Ole Miss Rebel fans and Oki State Cowboy fans. Morency in trouble. Down he goes. And it's not working. I think, but I think, Billy, I think Ole Miss is inviting them to throw the ball. 
Heads it to the outside. Morrissey tries to cut it back upfield and run out of bounds where the 37-yard line. Pitch to Tatum Bell, and he has a first down. Excellent call there. A big third down conversion there for OSU. They were facing second and 21. And now Fields with protection. Looking down the field to Rashad Holmes and overthrew it. Is that your guy? Is that your guy? Is that Jesse? It's your guy. Oh, yeah. You got to love a nose guard that's going to go to law school. Third and 13. And Woods a reception down to the 35. They'll move the chain. Look at it again over here. Look, look how far off he is. That's what I said. I, I think they're fighting those attacks. Bell dropped behind the line of scrimmage by Travis Blanchard. Yard line and Von Hutchins, the man oh. who has caused them problems all years out there. And, and look how much space he's given. Tip. Tip. Again, we call the name of Travis Johnson. They blitz the story, Billy. No. Nice. Huge puck. Down by far. Oh, that's, yeah. a, that's a beauty. Well, down it at the three yard line. Nicely done. Eager, get me a sandwich. Now that was a big time show. You better believe it. Big time throw. Wow. To and, Chris Collins. And it actually all ties in. She man him. Throwing a little bit behind the intended receiver. Growing up and watching him play in high school and now college. Collins again down on the knee. Second time that's happened today. I think this is where Eli Manning's strength really comes. Third and long situations. He's made a lot of big plays this season for Ole Miss. Barely got the playoff. And Manning down the middle, checked off to the line of scrimmage and delivers a strike to Kerry Johnson. That's what he does. Here he is again. Across the 45 of the 46 yard line. No, yeah, move my back. Again, it's Pearson, and he sticks his nose ahead to get a first down. And they've been doing different Ooh. things to chip him and keep him away from Eli Manning. Met. And that will be the final play of the third quarter. 24 14 Ole Miss leads. We're back to Dallas after these messages from your local Fox station. Second and 12 for Manny and the Rebels. Current chasing, and he unloads down the field, just throwing it away. Third down, and now delivers a beautiful strike to SB, another Ole Miss first down. And there was no time for pass rush. And Pearson picks up a couple of yards. Well, look. He said once, once Rashawn Woods went, a lot of other Oklahoma City players said, hey, oh, it may be the place to go. Gary Johnson inside the 10. You want to come with everybody and get some blitzes going, whether it's run or pass. Oh, and Pearson lunges. Did he get in? No. He's about a half a yard short. Manning carries it in for the touchdown. That's that's almost disrespectful. And it is good. This game was tied at 14. 17 unanswered points by Eli Manning and the Rebels. 12:30 to go in Dallas.
with LSU. LSU beat them head to head in a great game in Oxford. Short kick. And Jones breaks it out to the 28 yard line. Miles and alum of the University of Michigan, where he was an assistant coach. On a couple of different occasions, he knows all about winning and when, of course, you played. Robert Reed. Play fake, Fields with time to throw and locks up it and has Woods open. And he oh. caught it. Oh! Now that was pass interference. Yeah, but I don't think you can expect it all day. Lawrence down to the 20 yard line, you know, less miles. And you can recruit against them. Oh, God! Because as you know, Tim, that's one of the first things. Third down and three. Denied the first down. He's going to go fourth and three. This is where they want to put Fields on the move to roll him out of that pocket. Outside, one on one. -on -one. Man, no help deep. They go that way. What a catch. Wow. wow. What a catch. Wow. Oh, my. All over him, and he still catches the ball. That's a gift. Right? I mean, to be oh, able to have that kind of concentration in that, in that nanosecond. Push to the outside. And it looked like he lost a yard. And he gets a pitch. Scramble for the ball. And at the one yard line, it rolls out of bounds. Trying to lead in the fullback, Sean Willis. And he's denied. They shut Auburn down late in the game, right down here. Nice, nice lead, wasn't it? Point after, and that will bring the Cowboys within 10, and still a long way to go in this one. 8.49 to play. Lawrence in for the touchdown. Yes, it is. I, I mean, it's something you just can't imagine. And we always hoped that they would go on to college and be successful, but this is exceeding even our expectations by a tremendous amount. And it's wonderful to have the family here. Are you a basketball player? What's it like to have three kids playing Division I college football? As I said, it, it exceeds our expectations. We were just hopeful that they would go on to college. Go ahead. Great stuff. You know, a lot of talk about Donovan being, uh, you know, in line. And Robbie Reed, arguably, the greatest recruit ever signed in the history of Oklahoma State football as far as billing goes. They need their defense right now to stop this third down conversion if the program is going to continue to rise and win this Cotton Bowl. They come after Manning, and he had to get rid of it. So they come up with a stop, and they'll get it back with 6.30 to go. And now it's time for Mrs. Woods to get her wish. That one will roll out of bounds at the 22-yard line, so a long way to go. Well, think of the teams that have been here in the past. And how great they all are right now. Let's go! Fields going for a bundle and finds his main man. There you go, Mama. So he plays off that far, that's why he takes a little breather. Not much of that. I mean, it's a, it's a nice play by Johnson, but... Pitch it to turn him down. And he's down to the 17. Boy, Oklahoma State wasted a lot of time getting that play in oh, the start line. And then an incomplete throw to Rashawn Woods again. Of 226 yards receiving. Badger in motion and fields a shot. And again, looking for Woods. And again, he got it. Made it look easy. Oh, man. Von Hutchins went with the press conference. He rolled the dice. And you know what, Bill? You're right. Ole Miss 
over-respecting. He had to come back for that pass. Watch his body position. We talked about Tim so much. Well, Eddie Sutton would be proud. Going up to get the <laughs> rebound and bring it home. And again out of the end zone. Yeah, you mentioned it, Billy. On which came back to get it and score. That body control is is amazing. Turner, a big hole, and nearly broke it. You know, I was just going to say. And adding to it. Play fake to Turner. And looking down the field. Oh, just out of the reach of a diving Mike Eskew. Second and ten. Draw. Yeah. I, although if, if Eli's checking, checking it off, he's got to check it to a pass because the box is full. Third and ten coming up and that clock running. Here they come. Here they come. It's picked up. And He's got the arm behind him. Absolutely. He had the hook going. He pushed right through him, too, I think, Billy. OSU with two timeouts remaining. They'll keep it on the ground. The turner, he tries to break it to the outside. Cut back inside. Bottled up there. And Oklahoma State has to use a timeout now. Oklahoma State didn't do that. Pearson has checked in for Turner and he crosses midfield another third down upcoming and this is the first step into big time Third down they hand off to Turner Swings his way breaks a tackle The 25 133 yards on 20 carries for Turner will get another he came out again after that 25-yard run. will be Pearson. That they believe are going to take care of that. Pearson again. He's to the 17. Jacobs, Pearson, Turner. Four down to two. Pearson. Bottled up. And denied. It, it looks like a first down, but... Boy, they reset that clock very late. Not that it would yeah, have made a huge difference. But they did. The celebration is on in the state of Mississippi. And why not? First time in 41 years Ole Miss is playing in the Cotton Bowl. And they will go home victorious. 41, 28. Just like Tim talked about, there's nobody that should leave this place feeling bad about what they showed out here today. Two strong teams, two strong performances. And he goes out a winner. 31 20 in our final back with a trophy presentation in a moment.